your exam, there's going to be problems, there's going to be variables that you have never seen before. All right? That's kind of the purpose of what they do to create these tests is things that they want to test your understanding, not just by, hey, can you find the limit of something that would have been similar to your textbook? No, they're going to test your skills on something that you've never seen before. So it's really going to be important for you guys to look at something like this and say, you know, all right, I've never maybe seen or worked with delta x, but you know, what exactly again is this problem? Well, they're treating delta x as just any kind of variable. You could, you could use it as y if you wanted to, or z, or uh, you know, use a Greek letter if you want to. So it's just representing a different variable. So the main important thing is I understand that direct substitution is not going to work. But if I apply my operation, Also notice, ladies and gentlemen, when you guys are um, doing these for your exam, to make sure I've been, uh, been kind of showing some work for time purposes of just kind of using the equal sign. But make sure when you use the limits, this is what we call our like limit notation. For every line that you're writing the new limit, make sure that you also always include the limit notation there. All right, I'm going to remind you when you guys take your quiz, because that's the one thing I want you to kind of practice on. Um, and I'll let you know when that's uh, something that's going to be requested. But you guys are only going to have a couple tests where we're going to need this, but when you guys take your exam, I will remind you, every single line you're going to have to rewrite the limit. So as delta x approaches 0, you guys can see that the 2x and the negative x do divide out. And you can also see, so that's going to leave us with 2 delta x over delta x. And therefore, now I have limit as my theta approaches zero of two. And therefore, when my, um, uh, my limit as approaches some number equals a constant, then my limit is always going to equal, is that my limit? So should it equal? It's just going to equal your constant in there. I'll just leave it as that.